Hello there, this is Cookies, and I've got turn 116 of EA Vanheim, where I'm a sub. And let's see, we got a report from Lightport. So we got hit by a murdering winner. We lost 56 units. Let's go ahead and take a look. Don't think I lost anything important. In fact, I've got some illusion items to make it seem like the, the murdering winner should be even more effective than it actually is. So I'm purposefully trying to draw it. Um, unfortunately, the only province I could really draw it on was Lightport, um, where I had a fort. Would have been nicer to draw it on a Corbian, but this was within striking distance of Alluvia, so it was the most likely one to draw that murdering winner fire. So that's where we're doing it. Additionally, we cast a uh, Tartarian Gate, Lichcraft, Transmute Fire, got some gold. So let's go ahead and check out the Tartarian Gate. I think this time I got, I forget if it was this turn or last turn, but I think I got this guy recently. It's a really cool Flying Felt Vapors caster. And... We've also pulled this guy who's feeble-minded, so we got a bad pull this time, but so far it's been working pretty well. We've gotten some nice magic diversity. And we've got a few fights, so let's go ahead and jump into the battle in Agartha. So right off the bat we got Wailing Winds because we have this four harmonica golem who has returning on damage. And in terms of mages, let's go ahead and check it out. We have this Abomination, pretty cool thug, Gaze of Death, Life Drain, Tentacles, Firebrand. We have the Pretender, no gems on this Agarthan Pretender, but a lot of paths. A couple of Banshees, one with a water bottle. Oh, we're just pulling everybody out. So we've got hammers and earth boots on these guys. Uh, research boosters. But this guy gets the gems. Interesting. Oh, that's TNN. Okay. So we have earth boots with a bunch of gems. Water bracelet with gems. More gems. Really putting these... Uh, Furball Druids to work. Flame Spirit. The TNN Pretender. Who's got a little bit of a morale and battle kit, but also a ring of sorcery to improve a, improve a lot of pathing. Has a bunch of Earth, Astral, and Death Gems. So we'll have to keep an eye on this Pretender. A Frostbrand Ulm. Uh, some more, ooh, Big Earth, so maybe Army of Gold or something. This guy has Air Gems, which is, so maybe he's a part gem mule, and part doing some weapons of sharpness. Maybe this guy's doing, uh, he has a pearl, but maybe this guy's doing something similar in Skeletal Legion. Bunch more Earth Gems, maybe that one's Army of Gold. Or Army of Lead, could be one or the other. Whole bunch of stuff on these Agartha Mages. Although a lot of them are empty handed, but there's just a volume of them. Earth 5, whew, all those gems, alright. We have a Pyromancer from TNN, Air Queen, Sea King, a few uh, Super Combatants and Thugs and Mages. Let's see, High Nature, maybe Hal. High Air, High Nature. Maybe some Swarm, Air Elementals, Storm, stuff like that. Like Nature and Air Buffs. 
All right. So we'll watch this once, and then I think we'll zoom in on, we'll watch it a couple more times, zoom in on each side, see what the mages cast. But enjoy. Earthquake. Too many line ogres. Let's see. Mass regen, temper, well, blunt, pierce. I think they come with that. And vulnerability though. And Army of Blood, maybe. Will of Fates. And Yeah, Serpent's Blessing. What do these guys have? Also invulnerable, so maybe we had Stygian Reigns. Although I think that would be up here. Maybe Army of Gold with Anti Magic. Army. Sorry about that. All right, let's watch this again from the Agartha side. See what we got. Bunch of iron warriors and vulnerability. Some ele elementals. You know, summon earth power. All right. Army of lead. Legions of steel. Temper Flesh, Body Ethereal, kind of sad to watch the, the god doing Body Ethereal. Ground Army. This guy shows up. We get some Earthquakes. Petrify. Nice. There's the devils jump in on him. He's down to two hit points. And there might be a little bit of replay bug here. Uh, I'm coming back to re record this one because the previous one was just super long. But we'll check out the casualty report at the end. Still a cool battle, either way. And it mostly went this way. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what TNN casts now. Storm power. Mm -hmm. 
kind of hard to see the text. Will of the Fates comes out. Foul Vapors. So I'm assuming uh, Serpent's Blessing is already out as well. And we get Ravenous Swarm. Yeah. Marble Warriors, Ground Army. Legions of Steel. Anti-magic. Stygian Reigns, there we go. I think we noticed that earlier. Only vulnerability. Oh, okay, so it doesn't show up up here. That's interesting. Army of Lead. A lot of important buffs coming out of this uh, sorceress. Some of the some of the ones from this. Shocking grasp. False fetters. Alright, so nothing major coming from the Air Queen. No fog warriors, for example. Alright, let's take a look at the casualty list. So Agartha lose, does in fact lose their god. They lose 4, 6, 7, 8, 20, 22 additional mages. And know, maybe 68 more troops, including some high-end ones, like Ancient Ones, some Tart Summons. Uh, Tirnanog gained two Tarts. Either through Charm or Enslaved Mind. And doesn't lose much. Loses some, some of these Warriors, but it's not too bad. 25 gold against 40 gold. So, alright. Big win for TNN. Additionally, we had a couple of battles against Atlantis. Uh, for Vanheim. We had let's see a raid onto Alluvia. Just to clear the PD so we don't get gym baited. Alright. And then on Genom. We sense peasants as part of a screening force. And I believe most of them die. And we can see we were defeated. And we lost a few troops here. I think that was a replay bug where I think the Coral Commander got disintegrated <laughs> turn one. Um, and then Yomi fought a couple of small battles against Atlantis. Let's go ahead and check those out. So we have a Ko'oni raid against a bunch of barbarians. And a Wraith Lord. So Yomi loses that one. And then another Koni raid where this guy's already in ghost form. Don't know what happened to him. But I think they should win this as long as they don't route. Okay. Oh, never mind. There's a big old Basalt King that I missed here. So, what has this guy done? Earth Power, Iron Skin, Ice Shield, Legions of Steel, Quicken Self. 
And uh, I don't think the Coney are going to have much to say to this guy. All right. Let's see. We had a mage attacked. Few. Let's see. Lost some people to some events. Controlled out a scout. Okay. So what are we doing this turn? Uh, we're continuing to march our screening force. And, oh, uh, another thing is we've made a deal with Yomi. I wanted all this nonsense away from my throne so I could fight out the land of more friendly. So I made him an offer where I would take over Ubar. I would send him the money and the gems from it which is significantly more than the probably zero he's getting, given all the rest, unrest he's generating. Uh, so he'll get a lot of money, like the money a capital can provide, well, given it's 17k pop. But he'll get that money, he'll get that gem income, and I will get him away from my throne. Additionally, it will... Uh, there's a site here with growth, so I'll be able to lightly blood hunt this province, which will be great. And let's see, we're sneaking these guys off, we're moving the lich off. Um, the screening, we're going to go ahead and move on to Ubar. And this army here is rendezvousing with some of those amulets of anti-magic so we're kind of gathering up some more and i think we're just going to go take ubar first and then we'll worry about alluvia uh, what else are we up to so you can see a number of atlantis raiders in the region but we're doing fairly well keeping them off our shores not too big of a deal and we're continuing to forge a lot, so we're getting the Cauldron of the Elven Halls to hide our quality units. More rings of water breathing, more cold resistance, more air breathing in case we lose Thetis' blessing, new soul contract, amulets of anti-magic, a barrel of air, just all the things you need to prosecute a war underwater. And... I think that's most of it. I don't think there's a whole lot else going on. Um, this guy is still here and still annoying. And... Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and see you in turn 117. Have a good one.